This is my version of Ezreal's crew ability in Unity. Obviously the visuals aren't there, but the base functionality is. Welcome to the new series where I recreate League of Legends champion abilities in Unity. If you've been following the 2023 MOBA series, this is kind of a continuation to it. I'll be showcasing and giving you a brief look on how I achieved this. If you're lazy like me, you can obviously just copy the code in the video, or you can buy it on my Patreon shop down in the description. Big thanks to all my Patreon supporters, and with that being said, let's dive right into the video. I'll go ahead and drag the Unity package, which you can buy in my Patreon down below. I'll then slap it onto a new empty project and also make sure that you have Cinemachine installed. In the folder, it pretty much has the basic essential scripts, models, and animations from the MOBA series. If you have your own character and animations, all you need is the scripts. In the demo scene, we have our player and you can see I've attached an Ezreal Q ability script onto it. I also have a prefab of the projectile with the projectile script attached to it. This handles the speed, max distance, the hit layers, and damage. For the hit layers, make sure your project has a layer called enemy and have that selected for the projectile script. We'll go ahead and set our enemy game object in the scene to enemy and give our own player game object its layer. Looking at the animator tab, I have an animation trigger called Ezreal Q, which can be called from the any state. Then it just links back to the idle animations. Moving on to the Ezreal Q ability script, there are some changes I made to the stat script. You won't be able to tell from my end, but I just removed the variable called target health completely. I replaced all the parts of the script that had target health to just health. I feel like it wasn't necessary to have the variable there. I also commented this part out, which handles the experience, since we won't be needing it for this series. Moving on to the Ezreal Q ability script, the first thing we notice is the required component. This is to make sure that the script can't be placed on the character unless there's the movement and mana system script attached to it. I separated the values, projectile, 2D UI, and 3D UI into headers so they're much easier to see in the inspector. You can go ahead and copy these if you need. The rest are just private floats that will help run the script. In the awake method, we initialize our setup by caching necessary components and setting up the UI. The update method is the heart of the script, constantly checking the player input, updating the cooldown timer, and refreshing the UI. The cache components is where we optimize our script to get the mana system, movement, and the main camera. This reduces the process of having to re-access our components. In the handle input, we listen for the player's input to activate the ability and manage aiming. It ensures that the ability is only used when it's off cooldown and the player has enough mana. Fire skill shot is triggered when the player fires the ability. It stops the character's movement, consumes mana, then starts the cooldown. It will also rotates towards the aim direction. It also handles the animation trigger for the ability. The rotate character method adjusts the character's rotation to face the direction of the aim. Start cooldown initiates the ability's cooldown period, during which the ability cannot be used until the timer resets. When the player aims and fires, aim and fire projectile instantiates the projectile at the correct position and rotation, ensuring it launches towards the target. You'd call this method in an animation event. The calculate and aim direction method calculates the direction of the aim based on the mouse position. Update cooldown manages the countdown of the ability's cooldown, updating the state and UI elements to reflect the remaining cooldown time. In update UI, we adjust the UI elements based on the ability state, such as changing colors to indicate if the ability is on cooldown or if there's enough mana. This method updates the position and rotation of the skill shot indicator. Update indicator rotation aligns the skill shot indicator with the aim direction ensuring visual consistency with the aiming process. Enable aiming mode toggles the aiming mode UI, showing or hiding the skill shot indicator and managing the cursor's visibility. Finally, initialize UI sets the initial state of the UI elements, ensuring that they are correctly set when the game starts. Moving on to the projectile script, this script controls the projectile's movement, collision detection, and damage application. It's set up to work with the objects in specific layers. In the start method, we capture the projectile's starting position, this is essential for later when calculating how far the projectile has traveled. It continuously moves forward and checks if it succeeded its maximum travel distance. If it has, then the projectile is destroyed. Move projectile propels the projectile forward at a constant speed. This movement is frame dependent by using time or delta time, ensuring a smooth behavior when flying towards the enemy. Check distance travel calculates the distance the projectile has moved from the starting point. If the distance exceeds the max distance threshold, the projectile is destroyed. On collision enter is triggered when the projectile collides with another game object. It first checks if the game object is within the specified hit layers, allowing for selective interaction with the game objects. If the collision is valid, the script attempts to apply damage to the target. If the collider game object has a stats component, which it should, the projectile applies a specified amount of damage to it. Regardless of whether the damage is applied, the projectile will destroy itself upon collision. That is all we need for the scripts. Back in our game scene, we just have to double check with our player in the inspector dragging all the proper images and other variables needed for the script. To finish off, we'll double check the same for the projectile script. That is pretty much all for this video. If you guys have any suggestions on what champion ability you want me to recreate, whether being in League of Legends or any other game, 
comment it down below. If you want to get the project files and Unity package to this project, you can go buy and download it in my Patreon shop. Also, feel free to support me through pledging. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.